The third key indicator is focusing on increased confidence, knowledge and skills of all staff in teaching peer and sport. This is crucial if sustainability is to be achieved. A school's teaching staff will always be there. It is important that we invest time and resource into developing and upskilling staff so they are confident and competent in delivering high quality physical education lessons. If a school has outsourced the delivery of physical education to an external provider, what happens to the delivery of physical education if this cost can no longer be met? But it's bigger than this. Physical education is a national curriculum subject and should be delivered by qualified teachers. It is important that over the coming year we ensure our staff are confident in planning, teaching and assessing in PE. When we consider continued professional development we often think of courses, but these are not always the best way to disseminate good practice and grow knowledge. Team teaching, whole school inset, peer observations are only a few of the ways that can spread good practice across the school. So how have you invested in developing these methods of CPD and upskilling your teacher workforce? Teachers are the sustainable solution. We will always have teachers. Invest in CPD of the highest quality to ensure that every member of staff can grow in confidence, knowledge and skills. And remember that PE is more than teaching physical skills and sports. If we emphasise that the confidence a teacher improves when they see that they're also developing a child's thinking skills, personal skills and social skills, peers looked at it through a new lens. Barriers are often broken down when a teacher realises that they don't need to be an expert in every sport to teach PE. We can set up learning opportunities where children can learn about themselves, think about solutions, problem solve and execute themselves in physical actions. CPD should be based on need, not always on a course, but maybe on the development of the whole person. It could be through whole school inset and webinars.